Um, so I got a book out of the library. So I was going to get like books out for my last essay, and they had like this because it, it was. It, I'm doing like a um, literature and childhood in the 18th century module. Um, so I was in the like children's literature theory section, and just randomly among all the rest of the books, there was this really adorable book. Look at it. It's called In Praise of Mountains. <laughs> And it's just like this, look how thin it is. It's so tiny and like, can you see the detail on the cover? It's just like, it's got a mountain, ob <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously it's got mountains on it because that's what the book is called. Um, but yeah, it's just got like little mountains and like little trees and like orange people climbing up and it's so adorable. So I just got it out um, and like, I don't think anyone's checked it out in ages because I don't think... I can't think of a course that you would need this book for um, so I don't think anyone's checked it out for absolutely yonks so I think I should be safe to keep it as long as I want um, and just keep renewing it and I'm having so much fun with it it's literally the whole book is just like it's just full of like little poems and like things that people have written about mountains so we're just gonna have a look through um, in the front it says it's got a sticker in the front and it says I can't read backwards from the library of the late Sir David Russell presented by his family exciting I wonder if it was published um, oh 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 it's a series it's a series there, so there's oh that's so cool oh man so th there's an In Praise of Westminster Abbey, In Praise of Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales, In Praise of London, great, In Praise of Country, In, in Praise of, In Praise of Country Life, that's, oh, I bet that's a really, oh, In Praise of Christmas, oh my goodness, ah, oh, In Praise of Cricket, I, I need this, I need this book series, oh my goodness, oh, and in the front it says, it's got In Praise of Mountains, an anthology for friends. <laughs> How cute. How cute is this book? Oh my goodness, okay. Let's, let's dig in. So, <coughs> I have a bit of a cough, sorry. It's compiled by Eleanor and Geoffrey Winthrop Young. They sound like great people. Oh, and also in the front, there's like just underneath the complete list of books in the series, it says, it's got a little quote from Leslie Stephen that says, Hills, even little ones, seem to have a magical effect on me. Me too, Leslie Stevens. Me too. Stephen. Leslie Stephen. Singular. Ah, oh, it's 1951. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. And also th throughout the book it just has like, so it's got, it's basically a book of quotes, but it's also got, look, just little pictures. That one's called, that one's of Mont Blanc called Silver Snows. Ah, oh, just ha like, don't you just want, I just whacked my arm into that water. Don't you just want this complete series of books? I didn't even realise it was a series. Ah. Oh. As o'er the mountains walks the wandering soul, seeking for rest in his unresting spirit. Ah, oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. And I was so confused when I found it. I was like, I don't understand what, like, why this is in, like, I'm glad that it was in the library. But I was like, who has ever used this for any sort of research ever? Ah, oh, these great cathedrals of the earth with their gates of rock, pavements of cloud, choirs of stream and stone, altars of snow, and vaults of purple traversed by the continual stars. Ah. Oh. Oh. So nice, so, so nice. Psalm 36. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains, the, thy judgments are great are a great deep. High solitude, that's another, there's another mountain, mountain. You should all go and, this must be on like Amazon, you must have to buy this on the internet somewhere. I might go buy it myself so I don't have to keep renewing it from the library. Or, Alternatively, I'll go and buy um, 
in praise of cricket, or seeing as I'm in St Andrews, in praise of golf. That would be suitable, wouldn't it? Hmm. Ah. Uh, over the great windy waters and over the clear crested summits, unto the sun and the sky and unto the perfect earth, come let us go. Peace! Peace a while! <laughs> oh, this book. <clears throat> what other good ones are there? Hmm. Hmm. Can't. Oh, there's. Oh, this is all. Oh, this is Snowden. The pictures are the best bit, really. Well, not. No, okay, the whole thing. Like, everything works together to make this book brilliant, including the beautiful cover. Like, I'm so in love with the cover. Mm -hmm. The Alps seem to him to be the folded wings of the earth. That's Hans Christian Andersen. Who, who goes to the hills, goes to his mother. That's Rudyard Kipling. Oh, oh, I love the laughing vale, I love the echoing hill, where mirth does never fail, and the jolly swain laughs his fill. William Blake. What a babe is Blake. This is the Scottish blends. Are you bored yet? What, how long has this video been going on for? Six minutes and 55 seconds. I could probably wrap this up soon. Uh, there's also just like, there's long bits of prose that I'm not going to read to you, but they're just really beautiful. I was just like, I'll, I'll, I'll get this book out and then when I'm like, if I'm having a really stressful time, I just sit and look through this book about mountains and realise that I'm not very significant. I think that might, well that's not it, there's loads of stuff in here, but I think that might be it for what I'm going to share with you. Um, the mountains also shall bring peace, and the little hills righteousness unto the people. Psalm, what's L? What's L mean? Is, is it, is L, what's L? <laughs> 50? It's LXXII. I don't know what L is. I'm bad with Roman numerals. I can do up to X. Oh, and then there's Shelley. And this, the naked countenance of earth on which I gaze, even these primeval mountains, power dwells apart in their tranquility, remote, serene, and inaccessible. Oh, and there's a picture of the Himalayas. More, more Kipling. I think that is, ah, oh, there you go, that's pretty much the end. Hmm. The, the very last one is, <coughs> I'll read it to you, the very last one is Wordsworth. The song, of the, the song of mountain streams, unheard by day, now hardly heard, beguiles my homeward way. All air is, as the sleeping water, still, listening the aerial music of the hill. <laughs> that was just, this book is just a joy through and through. Yeah, go treat yourself. I, I don't know if it's available anywhere, but if you can't find it online, you can always come to the St Andrews University Library and get out this book. If I have not got it, if I have not already still got it, do that. Or buy one of the other ones in praise of cricket. All go buy an in praise of book and just be excited that this is a thing that exists. I hope you have a good day. Bye!